Mike, I was wondering if you wanted to take a quick trip to Miami. Oh yes, no hesitation. I am getting a flight right now. I will be there soon. I will get there before you. You are a buffoon. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where I can meet my favorite porn stars? I was wondering if you could direct me to that location now that I am here in Miami. I was maybe thinking I could meet some of them, perhaps convince them to have sex with me. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to get the fuck out of my store immediately. What's that? You do not approve of my request? Well, listen to me, I'm, I mean no harm. In fact, I have a friend that I am meeting here in Miami in a few days, and if you need him to vouch as a character witness, I am more than happy to make that request. Listen, we're a shoe shining store here at the airport, so that will not be necessary. Get the fuck out now. This is not a problem. I will go ahead and exit your store right now. Excuse me, miss, I don't mean to disturb you, but I couldn't help. Are you waiting for a taxi? Oh, no thanks. I'm actually uh, waiting for an Uber. Thanks. I don't need a ride. Well, the reason I ask is because I have to get a taxi as well. I am actually not offering a ride. I am not the driver. But if you are interested in splitting the fare of a cab, perhaps we could uh, ride together? Oh, <laughs> um, that's really ridiculous. You're a stranger. I don't know you, so no thanks. Listen, that is completely understandable. I realize that. Um, how about you let me grab your phone number and perhaps we could meet up for a coffee later? Uh, no, I don't think my boyfriend would appreciate that. Well, uh, he is certainly a very lucky man. I hope that he treats you well because if he doesn't, here's my business card. Uh, feel free to give me a call. I will be here for three days. And uh, if you guys break up within that time period, perhaps we could meet and uh, see what happens. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Now, not to be annoying or any sort of a disturbance to you, but when you say that's not going to happen, just to clarify, is that because you don't think you'll break up with your boyfriend or because you are simply not attracted to me? Um, I mean, if you really need to hear it, it's that I love my boyfriend and honestly, I'm also not attracted to you. That is not a problem, man. I do apologize if I've been any sort of a disturbance. I gotta go, my Uber's here. Apologize, bud, but I'm not gonna be able to make it to Miami. Work's got me hung up, and by the way, I called and, and you didn't answer, so that's why I'm leaving you a voicemail. I hope you get this, but uh, I hope you're having a good time, and you know, have fun for the both of us. We'll we'll, we'll make up for this in the future, all right? Hi there, miss. I'm going to order two shots of. Jaeger, and I will have a piña colada. Okay, that's cool. What brings you to Miami? Well, I was invited to join a friend uh, and spend a weekend here, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to come down, and I haven't even left the airport. It's a little bit of a buzzkill, but that is why I am ordering shots. One for me and one for you. Ooh, thanks, baby. Okay. My pleasure, and uh, if you don't mind, I do have a question for you. I'm all ears. Well, uh, to be honest, I cannot help but notice that your breasts are very large, and I am curious, are they real or are they augmented? Well, they're augmented and they cost a lot of money, but they were an investment that has paid off dividends because they helped me make a lot of money as well. Well, that is very interesting, and you seem like a very smart woman. Listen, I'd love to touch your breasts if you're open to having that type of interaction with me. Wow, you're bad. But I gotta be honest, I like it. It's refreshing how straightforward you are and just honest. Listen to me, honey. I have been doing this a long time, and I am very excited for the opportunity to put something in your, in your tip jar. Oh, that is hot. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby, fill my tip jar up. Fill my tip jar up. 
Listen, I am more than happy to fill your tip jar, but I do have to ask in exchange your phone number and what time you get off work. Oh, baby, of course. I get off work at 10 o'clock. Here's my phone number. Give me a call. This is Mike, the guy from the airport uh, earlier today. Uh, I, listen, I've tried calling you several times. It keeps uh, giving me your voicemail. Not sure if you're getting my messages or my voicemails, but I was hoping we could get together. Uh, you know, like we talked about before, I was very excited to meet you. Uh, I thought we had a great interaction and uh, just uh, looking forward to spending some time together. So please give me a call back if you could. Uh, I'd appreciate it because, uh, you know, I uh, probably will just go back to wherever I came from if I don't hear from you.